Hi, welcome along to another video. Thanks for your comments on previous videos and the thumbs ups. It's appreciated. This time we'll take a look at German weather modification activity. We'll start in the 1930s and make our way up to the modern era. In this video, you will also see more evidence of the negative consequences of weather modification activities, which will show the property damage caused and unfortunately, the loss of life due to extreme weather events. Deutschland is one of the earliest countries on earth to start modifying its weather. Operations have taken place for approximately 90 years. Generally the target area covered has always been launched out of, but not exclusively to, Rosenheim and Remsmer. Rosenheim is a city in Bavaria, in the southeast region of Germany. Remsmer is a landkreis in the middle of Baden-Württemberg, in the southwest of Germany. It is situated just east of Stuttgart. Rosenheim is about 40 kilometers or 25 miles southeast of Munich. Both areas are about 200 kilometers or 125 miles apart and essentially that means the area of southern Germany is covered. Frankfurt is about 150 kilometers or 90 miles away from the target areas. The target area combines with the Austrian and Swiss target areas which also combine with the Italian and southeastern France target areas. These areas are commonly known for grape growing and wine production. Weather modification in the form of hail suppression programs is carried out to protect grapes from hail damage. The locations mentioned here are important to remember due to the floods, property damage and loss of life that have occurred during the weather modification operations. 1930s, Hagelabwehr or hail defense was first started in Rosenheim, Germany in the 1930s. Classed as experimentation, silver iodide was dispersed via basic, small rockets that were launched from the ground to target clouds. 1948-1982 In 1979, the Deutsche Wetterdienst, German Weather Service, published a paper on 100 years of weather service in Bayern, 1878-1978. It is stated that hail suppression operations were active between 1948 and projected up to 1982. There is a table shown next to the statement giving operational details dating from 1948 through to 1963 for the Tessin area which is near Rostock in the coastal northeast of Germany and from 1976 through to 1982 in the Central Schwyz, Central Swiss, area. The first part, 1948 to 1953, over Tessin utilized rocket dispersed TNT which is classed as an older method of hail suppression, using sound waves to disrupt hailstone formation. The period from 1953 through to 1982 over both Tessin, Germany and Central Switzerland used silver iodide. Tessin used ground-based generators and rockets were used for dispersal in central Switzerland. 1958 to 1968. In 1958 the Rosenheim district administrator George Knott initiated a 10-year trial that dispersed silver iodide into clouds via small rockets and also from ground generators. This was the first time data was scientifically analyzed and the project was considered a success. 1970s, legislation changes to the Explosives Act, meant that ground-based generators could no longer be utilized and cloud seeding via aircraft was introduced as the primary means to modify German weather using silver iodide in the Rosenheim, Miesbach and Traunstein areas. The airplane dispersal generators were designed by Hermann Selbertinger who was a flight engineer from Rosenheim. There is a World Meteorological Organization, WMO, Report from 2006 where participant countries reported their weather modification activities. Hail suppression, Hagelabwehr for Schum Rosenheim, it stated, was operational from 1975. A United States Air Weather Service, AWS, technical report, 244, published for the financial year of 1971 and authored by, Captain L. D. Mundenhall. Captain J. C. Lees, Lieutenant R. I. Sachs and H. S. Appleman, titled the Fourth Annual Survey Report on the Air Weather Service, Weather Modification Program, states that, in financial year 1971, AWS carried out a total of six projects. Four to dissipate supercooled fog, one to dissipate warm fog and one to increase precipitation. 
Cold Wand was a ground-based project at Fairchild Air Force Base, in Washington, USA. And Cold Flake was a similar project initiated at Hahn Air Force Base, in Germany. The remaining projects were US-based. Cold Flake used ground-based generators at Hahn Air Force Base which dispersed liquid propane. The propane method is currently, in 2024, resurfacing with both the USA and Iran claiming to have invented the method recently. Propane-based where the modification is what creates round snow. The snow looks like round styrofoam or small polystyrene balls. 1980s, according to the WMO 2006 weather modification report as responded to, by the Deutsche Wetterdienst, the, hail suppression, Hagelabweiland Kreis Remsma project was operational from 1981. Remsma has a compensation claim form for damages caused by weather modification activities. In 1982 new aircraft were added to the Rosenheim area's operation with the dispersal mechanism placed under the wings which released a mixture of ignited silver iodide and acetone. The generators were controlled manually by the pilot. They had personal responsibility for switching the dispersal units on and off and ultimate responsibility for modifying German weather systems. 1990s, in 1993 the Deutsche Wetterdienst published a meteorological report containing an article written by Wald Vogel titled, Niederschlagsbeinflossung am Beispiel der Hagelbekampfung, which translates as influencing precipitation using the example of hail control. 2007, the Rosenheim University Research Project, Robert, provided data in assistance to the weather modification activities. From 2010 the project continued under the name of Roberta. Around 2010, the aircraft generator technology used in Rosenheim, which were Croatian, Kronos, designed and built, were seen as deficient after 10 years of use due to observations of increased failures and maintenance needs, as well as the manufacturer being too far away to provide any kind of reasonable support levels. The newest generators were designed and built by the Kritschbaumer Company, in Cooperation with the Rosenheim University of Applied Sciences. Previous issues were solved by installing a fully electronic control system that simplified the pilot input requirements. 2016, in September 2016, MENAFN and the Emirates News Agency published an article titled UAE Rain Enhancement Program Delegates Visit Leading European Institutions. The delegation visited Italy, Belgium and Germany. In Germany the rain enhancement team visited Stuttgart and Karlsruhe. The team also interacted with 15 government entities, universities, and research facilities across Italy, Belgium and Germany. 2021, Climate Modification, the ICOFSRM, International Conference on Ocean Fertilization and Solar Radiation Management, SRM, was held in May 2021 in Berlin. Weather Modification Explained the 100% of weather modification works out approximately like this. 95% of the planned activity operates and works out as planned with the desired outcome. 3% of the planned activity does not yield responses. 2% of the planned activities create extreme weather events that are uncontrollable and cause devastation, including loss of life. On the 15th of July, 2021, News started breaking about a torrential rainstorm that was hitting in southwestern Germany. Within hours, dozens were feared to have lost their lives. Final figures on fatalities came in at around 300 as well as serious infrastructure and property damage which included areas across southern Holland and Belgium. Weather modification flight logs for Remsmerkreis show flights were being carried out weekly and more, up to the early part of July. Weather modification flights were also carried out during the storm on the 15th. Flight PH PERS with the pilot Michael Strecker flew at 4 p.m. and switched the silver iodide generators on at 5 p.m. and they were still on at 5, 23 p.m. Pilot Johan Goller flew flight number DEWGV and had the weather modification generators operating between 5, 10 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. Strecker's second flight took off at 6 p.m. and the generators were switched on 10 minutes later. The dispersal of silver iodide continued until 7 p.m., approximately 15 minutes before landing. Carrying out hail suppression methods, which are more commonly used for rain enhancement, 
when people are dying in floods around 200 to 250 kilometers away is not normal. Rosenheim's activities are a bit more harder to find out about for the 15th of July. After being asked for flight operation details, the head of weather modification operations at Rosenheim Hail Suppression replied via email on the 26th of July that operations had taken place in June and July and they were extremely successful. In June and July, we had an above average number of and sometimes very heavy missions this year. Heavy missions tells you everything you need to know. Remsma were again carrying out weather modification operations on the 24th of July. 2023, in 2023, Southwest Germany suffered a similar fate again, on the 17th of August. This time no one lost their life and climate change was blamed for the extreme weather event which caused cancellations at Frankfurt Airport, submerged vehicles, and made some streets only passable using boats. Weather modification flights were carried out on the 14th of August by the Remsma operators. Pilots M. Strecker and M. Frolik flew, DGELI and DGBRS, for a couple of hours in the afternoon with the weather modification generators on. Strecker also flew on the 16th of August in the late afternoon and the generators were on. Frolik flew on the 17th, with the generators on, in the afternoon. Weather modification flights continued on the 24th of August. It is clear that weather modification was taking place in the areas that experienced extreme weather events. That was a summary of German weather modification activity. Sources for the information shown, including links to the weather modification flight logs, are in the description section of this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to buy me a coffee or make a small donation via PayPal then you will also find links below. I'll be back soon, but until then, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time.